situation in Haiti is worsening each day. CNN says police have been overrun. Daily gun battles have been reported in the capital, and today we learn officers killed a major gang leader as people on the island try to leave. A plane carrying seven missionaries from Haiti arrived in Florida yesterday. And a Utah woman says she is stuck there as gang violence gets worse. She's speaking exclusively to KSL about how family was forced to evacuate their home in Port-au-Prince but can't leave the country. New specialist Brianna Chavez joins us now live. And Brianna, why is that? Well, Ashley, Mike, Erica Charles tells me that if she were to try to leave Haiti right now, she'd have to leave her family behind, something she says she's not willing to do. It is definitely the most extreme that I've ever seen. Erica Charles, originally from Provo, moved to Haiti 11 years ago. She says the gang violence escalating there is unprecedented. The night that they, that they broke open the prisons and were attacking the police stations, we finally grabbed our children and huddled down in a, in a room on the floor. The next day, her family fled their home in Port-au-Prince. We are currently displaced. Like many Americans, Erica has had a hard time leaving the country. Despite being their legal guardians, Erica and her husband are in the process of adopting twin six-year-olds through the Haitian government. Our girls um, don't have, they're, they are not able to get Haitian passports. Uh, they can't get travel documents to legally leave the country. A few weeks ago, the Central Authority for Adoption in Haiti was ransacked, leaving them no paperwork or way to complete the adoption process. The only option is to leave our kids behind. We can't leave our kids behind in a war. Erica and other families are hoping the State Department can grant her kids humanitarian parole or visitor visas. In the midst of chaos, Erica is using her social work background to help keep her kids calm. I'm praying for peace in a country that means so much to her. Finding ways that we can just take a breath, um, put things back into perspective. And Erica tells me that she has been in contact with Representative John Curtis's office. A spokesperson tells me that his office is in, is in contact with the State Department. So they're all just trying to hope for a really quick solution on this problem. Back to you. Yeah, I hope that they can make their way to Utah sometime soon. Brianna, thank you.